Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to understand very important concept and the concept is about basically how you are going to fetch the code that we have checked in into GitHub repo. Okay, now this is the code for the Postman API test cases that we have been learning and documenting till now. I have checked in this code into the GitHub repo and now how can our Jenkins CI server or any other CI server, if say for example, you are using or your organization using some other user, UI uh, CI server apart from Jenkins how can you set up a job within that particular continuous integration server similar with similar approach that I'll be talking about in the in this particular video I'll be using Jenkins to fetch this particular code and then execute that through the Jenkins job so you don't have to worry about any of the processes of cloning this locally and then executing those collections right so the process is pretty simple right and i'll explain you step by step what we need to do now this is the github repo for the postman api test cases that i checked in right updated and checked in the recent one and let's now see how we can execute this collection we have all the data file as well so csv and json as well we will be using these files as well and also the environment now the first thing is basically within jenkins we'll go ahead and create a new job okay so i'll click on new item here and this will be again a freestyle project so i'll say jira api test and this is basically github okay so i'm just appending github because this will be fetching the code from this job will be fetching the code from github and then executing the test cases i'll select freestyle and then simply click okay okay so now what all we need to do here in this particular job right now in below here you will see this source code management okay. now here we have to choose which particular or where you have checked in your code so i'll simply say okay git repo and then we'll provide the repository url how will we get the repository url so we'll go to the repo here okay and then below here in this code you will select uh sorry the local all right and then https will simply copy this particular link all right this is copied now now i'll go back to the job here i'll put that repo url okay now this is the location from where the code will be downloaded from github repo okay if you're using some other repo for example bitbucket just put that repository url and the process is absolutely similar so now here in the credentials you have to provide your repo credentials okay so if you for example you want to add new credentials you simply go ahead and click on jenkins and then provide the username and password for your github or bitbucket repo okay provide the username there and the password and then you'll when you'll say add it will get added there now i have already added so that is why it is showing these credentials here i'll simply click on select these credentials okay now below this you will see that we have uh, the branch specifier so we know that the branch here if we see what are uh, what branch we are in we are on the main branch right so we need to fetch this whole code from the main branch so we'll go ahead and specify change it to the main branch okay and then we'll come down here and we'll go ahead with the build step okay so now in the build step what we'll do we'll say execute windows batch command because i am on the windows server okay and now here what we have to do we have to basically check where exactly this code will be downloaded right so wherever jenkins will be downloading so when we say okay we provide the detail here at the top to fetch these this code right repository url so it will download somewhere okay on the local machine and then that will be present right now we have to basically if we see how we have been executing this particular collection previously so if you see we have been say, saying newman run okay if we are using newman or postman cli accordingly we change that command so we'll say newman run and then the collection name okay and then hyphen e the environment json file okay so now if we know where exactly the files will get downloaded okay one from this github repo then we can specify that location and execute the command that we used to run here in the command line right so basically whatever command we use we can use that same command to execute so now in order to run the newman command what we'll do is we'll simply say we'll go to the location so we'll say this where our newman is and i'll simply say newman run and then specify the location wherever the files will be downloaded right so if you click on this list of environment variable it will open this particular page and there is a variable workspace which will return the absolute path of the directory where the files will be downloaded 
so we can use this workspace variable okay and then within double quotes we'll simply put now we, because we are on windows we'll say percentage workspace percentage all right and then backslash what will be the file name the file name will be the actual file name of this json collection right so we can simply get the file name by clicking on here okay we'll copy the location and then simply replace the file name there okay followed by the environment okay whichever environment if you have the environment file specify the environment now environment file will also be downloaded where in the workspace of jenkins and then we'll specify the environment file the name of the environment file which is basically this file here okay and after that we'll specify the data file right so now data file will also be downloaded in the workspace okay so here we'll put the jenkins workspace and then we will simply specify whatever the data file is so data file is data.json okay and then close so this is basically what we use to this is the command that we use to execute the collection on our local machines right in the command line so we simply specify the collection name hyphen e environment and then data and then if you have to have some reporter we'll say hyphen r the reporters okay so now because all of this data is being downloaded in the workspace of jenkins so it will get downloaded from the github repo all of these files will be available locally wherever the, the jenkins is running and then those files will be available and can be fetched now this workspace variable becomes really handy when we have to specify where exactly the files will be we don't have to worry about where the jenkins workspace is we'll simply use that workspace and using this variable and it will be able to locate those files so once you are done with this then we simply go ahead and apply okay and save the job so once we save the job you will see that we have the build now okay so we can go ahead and build now but there is a bit of problem with my jira account basically i think because i'm using the free account and because of that the api key that i'm using is getting expired and again again it's getting revoked i think by atlassian so please make sure that when you are doing this automation with jira api you do very minimal calls to the jira api or switch to some other apis that do not have any sort of a limitation it could be an issue or it could be the that my particular account is not getting um, access because i have been using the jira apis for quite long across this particular whole tutorial series okay so it might fail this time so if we go ahead and build this particular job okay it will start the job let's see what happens and we will see the outcome so at least we'll see we'll be able to see the download of the code right so from the github you will see that it has started downloading everything okay and the download will happen and post that the command will get executed as well so you'll see that it is basically now running the command newman run with the collection and the data file you'll see yeah there is an error so this is basically the error i'm getting because of the api key issue okay and that's why the build has fail okay so i've cross checked that and i have tried creating new api key as soon as i create new api key it gets revoked so that is something from atlassian just want to let you guys know that when you are using it to a minimal sort of hits to the jira cloud just for maybe learning purpose okay and then let's go ahead and see the the files right so you'll see that this is the location where the file should have been downloaded so if i simply go ahead and copy it and go to that particular location you will see all the files from the github are now downloaded in this particular location we have the data file we have the date test data csv file we have the collection we have the environment file everything available here and our job has been executed here now job is failing that's a separate issue that is because of the api key issue but otherwise in terms of overall process of setting this up these are the only steps when you have to go ahead and set up your jenkins job to fetch the code from github or bitbucket wherever whichever version control your repository or your code is and then set up the job within jenkins to execute your postman collection through newman within jenkins so that's all for this particular video i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching